Welcome to the social space, everybody. Yay! I know to clap this time. You did good. <laughs> a repeat performance. We love it. Sarah, thank you for being here. Thank you. Uh, I'm Chris Horgan. That's Heather Johnson. That is Andrew Bell. And we are the social space. Yeah, we are. Absolutely. It's cool. We got to thank our sponsors because we always do. And we need to. Yes. They're important people. Mm -hmm. And we like them because they write checks and stuff. Mm -hmm. And they keep us on the air. It's always good. Always. So thank you, Four Stars. And Henrietta, we love you at Four Stars Auto Ranch there in Henrietta. It is a ranch kind of place. If you've yeah. ever been there, it's, it's, yeah. it's got a yeah. ranch feel. It does. Lots of cars. Oh, yeah. Instead of cows, they have cars. <laughs> yeah. I like it. Oh, Falls Truck Center as well, in Wichita Falls, always uh, happy to help us. American National Bank and Trust, I say that because Jackie's not here to say it because she normally would. Heather's filling in for Jackie. We thank you for that. Mm -hmm. um, and then our great friends at News Channel 6 and Town Square Media who get it out on the air all over the place. I have to tell you all something funny. I was at uh, uh, Empty Bowls a couple weeks ago for the food bank and I'm greeting people and this girl comes in and she goes, how do I know you? And I said, well, I was on channel six for 30 years doing the news. And she goes, no. <laughs> and I said, okay. And she goes, I said, maybe the social, I, I'm on the social space every Sunday on TV. And she goes, no, it's your voice. And I said, she goes, you're on the radio? Yeah. And I said, actually I am on Town yeah. Square Media on Saturday. And she goes, yeah, 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 that show, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was like, oh my gosh. It just That's threw awesome. me for a loop. My voice. She knew my voice. Yeah. Only yeah. my voice. That's she cool. didn't know what I look like. Yep. She just listens to it on the radio. So thank you for that. We appreciate you. Yep. All right. You have stuff. I do. What do you I got do. for us? The, the fun facts of the day. Absolutely. So first of all, um, Lifelong Learning Center, which we have someone here today. Um, we're going to, on October 24th, uh, Dave Hartman's going to complete his four-part series on the parallel lives of Hitler and Stalin. Then at 1.30, uh, Dr. Forrester will begin his two-part series on business finance, uh, where he's gonna cover financial analysis, asset valuation, and much more. Um, Thursday the 26th at 10 a.m., we're gonna have Dr. Robert Parkey, who's gonna present the least you need to know, sorting myth from reality and dementia. Wow. He'll discuss the signs and symptoms and the latest treatments and advancements for patients with dementia. Hmm. Then at 1.30, Eric Bentley, Vice Chancellor and General Counsel for Texas Tech University, will explore the art of mentorship. He's gonna share what it takes to be a mentor, the various ways being a mentor can have an impact on individuals in their communities. Very cool. Then, here in Wichita Falls, we've got Christmas Magic that's gonna start November 2nd through the 5th. Tickets are currently available for purchase on the Junior League website and then at United Supermarket locations. <laughs> and then with Wichita Theater, we've got the Forever Plaid on their dinner stage through November 11th, and then Snow White and the Seven Dwarves oh. on the main stage through November 5th. Who wow. would you, if you were a, one of the dwarves, which one would you be? Sleepy. Sleepy? Yes. <laughs> happy? I, I'm gonna say happy. You know who the dwarves <clears throat> there isn't are. A laughy. Ever asked me. There isn't a laughy, so you're gonna be happy. Sure. Sarah, which one would you be? Goofy. Right. I got just play dopey just to be dopey. That's awesome. That's me. All right, Sarah Finley with the Lifelong Learning Center, which we just talked a lot about some of your events coming up. Tell us about you and how you got involved with that program. Um, I got involved right after COVID. Um, we had been closed for about 18 months and we opened back up and I um, got the job as the assistant coordinator there mm -hmm. and um, took it on with full speed and it has been uphill and downhill and all around the hill ever since. So it's been a lot of fun. <laughs> tell us a little bit about what, what it is, for those who don't know what the Lifelong Learning Center is, it is, a, it is. It's an organization or program for people over the age of 50. Uh -huh. um, and what we offer are two semesters, a, a fall semester and a spring semester. And we have classes, um, uh, for 12 weeks during those semesters. We offer about 48 to 50 classes wow. per semester. And we have professors that come over from MSU and teach classes. We have community members that come in and teach classes and even our own members who have a expertise or a passion for a certain subject and they come over and, and they, they'll teach for us as well. And it's just a, it's just a great way to really challenge our minds and, and stay young and stay uh, current and um, and it's just a lot of fun. We have a lot of fun. 
That's great. So yeah. Sarah, y'all are y'all are bringing the concert to town. Yes, we're, we we are. Tell us about that. We're bringing Felipe Gomez okay. to town. He is a keynote speaker, and his um, his program is called Virtuoso, and his goal or his aim is to. Um, to bring excellence to all of us and to find our passion and to inspire us to be the best that we can be and find those really good connections in our lives. And he does it all um, using a grand piano on the stage. Wow, so wow. it should be really inspiring and interesting and also entertaining. And we also are gonna have Dr. Martin Camacho come back from Texas Tech. Uh -huh. and, um, and he's gonna be doing a mini concert for us with some other people on the stage um, at the same time. So it's just gonna be a wonderful evening of, we hope, inspiration and uplifting and a lot of entertaining. Wow. Very cool. That is nice. very cool. So uh, my understanding is the concert's free. So how do you go about getting tickets? Uh, we have tickets at the Lifelong Learning Center, which is at the corner of Hampstead and Glen Glenwood at 2527 Hampstead. They can come by and get tickets from me there. We also have tickets at the um, Clark Student Center at the information desk that they can go by and pick up. But the tickets are completely free. This is a gift from the Lifelong Learning Center through funding from the Pretty Foundation that we wanted to bring to Wichita Falls. So it is a free event and we will distribute tickets as long as we have tickets available. Wow. You can also get tickets at the door um, that, that evening. So um, if you wait till then, we'll, we'll give tickets out until they're all gone. That's awesome. awesome. So this is when and where? It is October 24th, okay. which is a week from tomorrow. It's at Aiken Auditorium at seven o'clock. And um, it should be great. We'll probably, we'll be there about six o'clock to start handing out tickets and um, for anyone that wants to wait. But um, otherwise, just come see me or give me a call at 940-397-4814. Uh, that is super impressive. I wanna ask you another question. Yeah. We were talking about this a little before we came on here, but you're getting to the point where this program is growing so much that you're gonna have to start maybe making some changes, not to the program, but to where you meet simply because you're running out of chairs. Well, we're hoping we don't have to change where we meet. We're hoping we can expand within those boundaries. But yes, our program has grown tremendously and our participation is just through the roof and people are just having a really, really enjoyable time. So we wanna keep that going and, and make those um, opportunities available to as many people as we can. If I wanna do enroll, how do I get into that? Um, again, you can call me at the Lifelong Learning Center or you can go to the MSU Texas website, just type in Lifelong Learning Center and you can enroll online. That's I think great. it's fantastic. Very it is. Cool. Us it old is. people are very appreciative. It is of really that an program. awesome program. It really is. Y'all too young. Y'all are young. <laughs> Y'all too young. Yeah. Not Can't that young. Not that uh -huh. young. Oh, whatever. Y'all too young. But us old people with the gray in our beard. I don't know. I got some gray. Oh, in. whatever. <laughs> I definitely have gray, so don't worry. <laughs> Good. Too young. Sarah, thank you. Thank so you. Much. Thank yeah, you for having it. me. Yes. Stay with us, everybody. We're going to laugh some more when we come back. <laughs> yeah, we are. <laughs> At Four Stars Chrysler Jeep Dodge Ram, we take pleasure in the simple things, like an easy, no-hassle buying experience, simple, transparent pricing, and the smile on the face of another lifelong customer. And with the largest volume of cars, trucks, and SUVs to choose from, the only thing that won't be simple is choosing which one you want to drive home. When it comes to finding your next vehicle, the choice is simple. Four Stars Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram. It's the season at Four Stars. Radio stations. That's who we are. We are Town Square Media and we bring the best of radio to the North Texas area. Wake up early with News Talk 1290. That's us. How about Kelly Raspberry on 929 NIN? Yep, that's us. Bringing you the best of country with 102.3 The Bull. That's us. And rocking it all day long with 1063 The Buzz. That's us. We are Town Square Media and we're proud to be a sponsor of the social space. Welcome back, everybody, to the social space. I almost said city space. That's coming up. Um, 
We are back now, and we don't have a guest right now because something Sarah Finley was just on yep. a minute ago with Life Lifelong Learning Center, and one of the things Heather told us about that's coming up kind of sparked our interest. So tell us what's coming up again. Um, on Thursday, the twenty sixth mm -hmm. at one thirty, Eric Bentley, the Vice Chancellor and General Counsel from Texas Tech University, is going to explore the art of mentorship. Okay, so mm -hmm. one of the reasons why we think that is so awesome is because the there are ways that if you're a business leader, if you're, you have a business, not even that, if you just have been through yep. life, mm -hmm. you can be a mentor to someone. Yeah. It doesn't matter. So Heather, you, did you have a mentor when, as like now or growing up? Um, I did at um, past jobs. Mm -hmm. uh, a lot of times they were not necessarily, obviously they weren't supervisors, but they were people that I had worked with or that were uh, peers to my supervisor. And so, you know, someone to be able to go into and just, you know, whether it's lay out frustrations, lay out strategy mm -hmm. on my life and mm -hmm. how am I gonna get through, you know, this next year of work and, you know, how do I build my plans and, and whatnot. So yeah, I did. Big um, difference. Mm -hmm. yeah. That makes a difference. It does. Absolutely. Your mentor? Oh yeah, I, th I think, you know, uh, high school, you know, a lot of my football coaches were, were mentors to me. Um, uh, taught me a lot of things about, you know, being accountable and all that kind of good stuff. And as I grew up, you know, uh, more mentors came along. And, um, you know, I think the biggest thing is, is uh, life has challenges and it's good to have that person you can lean on and, and vice versa and share ideas and share thoughts. And um, mm -hmm. I think it's important for everybody to kind of grow in that sort of way and, and know that somebody, you know, really cares about what's going on in your life, mm -hmm. you know, so. It makes a huge difference. It does make a I, huge I'm difference. lucky because <clears throat> all the time I spent in TV, I got, you know, I was the old man of the newsroom. So these young reporters would come in and go, tell me about this, tell me about this. And yeah. I still have people that call me. Uh -huh. There's still people that call me or reach out on Facebook and say, I got a quick question. I've got a dilemma. Mm -hmm. um, I'm facing this. How should I phrase this? How would you do it? Will I get in trouble legally? You know, and I'm like, oh, hold on. I can only <laughs> answer so many of those questions. But, but it's nice to know that they come back, you know, they're coming back. They, yeah. they come back and ask me, you know, how would you handle this? And uh -huh. it, it, that it's a wonderful feeling to have that. And I had one of those too that I, I still have a mentor. I interned under him when I was in college in the late 80s and I can still call him I, and he'll answer my calls. Yeah. And it's such a big deal. But, but that just being a mentor, you don't have to have that experience. You can do it through big brothers, big sisters. Sure. You can do it through the chamber has a mentoring program. For, and you don't even have to be a super business owner or be mm -hmm. active in business if you've been through it yeah. and can help someone or give them some advice or make them feel better about what they're doing, then that's all it takes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it can change a life. Absolutely. Yep. Change a life. So Lifelong Learning Center, when is it again? It's gonna be Thursday, uh, the 26th of October okay. at 1.30. So cool. Awesome. It's yeah. super cool. I yeah. just, I, I mean, you can't, you can't buy that. You can't read it in a book, can't Google it. it it's a life experience. Uh -huh. and, and it doesn't matter if you're 30 or 80, you can mentor someone mm -hmm. and make a difference in their life and they'll never ever forget it. Yeah. And it's just such a powerful thing yep. that we all have. Okay, before I get emotional, you got anything else on mentoring? <laughs> I am, I mean, it just, it touches my heart to yeah. know that. Well, and you, you said um, you could reach out to the Chamber of Commerce, yeah. Yeah. Big Brothers, Little yeah. Sister, or Big Sisters. Um, what other organizations, the church? There's a lot. Possibly and, mentor yeah, church. Yeah, churches are great. Mm -hmm. And there's also, if you belong to a, um, like a, a trade association or something like that, like I'm, I belong to a few of them through public information officer stuff or across the country and in Texas. And you can reach out to those. A lot of those have mentor programs as well. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, tell them to start one because you need to lean, <laughs> lean on the people who have done it for 25 years when you've done it for two. Yeah. Lean on them. Say, hey, listen, I, you know, we're starting a newsletter <clears throat> or something and I need, I need to know how you did it. How do you do yours? Have that person to go to. Mm -hmm. It makes all the difference in the world. And, it, you know, you, you got some, you got a trail to follow at that point Absolutely. instead of just running into the woods by yourself going, I'm going to do this. <laughs> you know, it, it makes it work. What is it? Work smarter, not harder, right? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Mentors can help you do that too. Yep. So yeah, reach out for gosh sakes, reach out and get that help. It's not, you know, there's no pride bruising there. No. It's, no. it's great networking and they might be able to make you a better 
person and more successful in yep. whatever you want to do. Yep. yep. I love that. Absolutely. Yay. Okay. Awesome. awesome. We'll be back with City Space right after this, everybody. <laughs> Yay. Yeah. So I'm a finalist for the Remodelers Advantage Impact Award. Do I deserve it? Well, deserve is a strong word. Yes. Axis Construction, how can I help you? I'm sorry, he's currently in a meeting right now. Can I take a message? Yeah, we've, we've got a great team. Uh, I love everybody here. I like to give them freedom to do their best work and space. I like to encourage and support them so that they can do everything that they want to do. Working with Jeremy has been, uh, you want me to say a word or just? He's creative, tall, courageous, and bold. Jeremy is ambitious, a very tall leader. What's that say? This is like kind of out of my comfort zone. Y'all probably didn't catch any of this. We're rolling. Oh, I can't read that one. Yeah. I'm I'm humble. I'm like the most humble guy I know. Anybody wants to argue with me, they're wrong. Humble. He's a thoughtful boss, uh, lets us get our work done, gives us our space, little distractions. To get the best work done in a day, I need complete silence and no distractions. And sometimes that could be difficult working around Jeremy. Other than that, I love it. Yeah. RA, on a serious note, thank you so much for nominating me as an Impact Award finalist. To my friends at Velocity, you challenge and encourage me, and I appreciate you more than you know. And to our team at Axis Construction, you inspire me to be better every day. Thank you. last year and you probably put it on your to-do list ah the famous to-do list well that list gets long and so do the days but your ac still needs a tune-up you could wait for that first triple digit degree day we're talking about consecutive days of triple digit heat. or you could call james lane air conditioning and plumbing this is laura hey laura good to see you again we don't like 102 degree weather but we're climbing the ladder. We don't prefer hanging out in the crawl space, but we're down there chasing the lead. And we don't like when your AC has problems, but we like to fix them. James Lane Air Conditioning and Plumbing. Welcome back, <laughs> yay, all right. You have to understand, during the commercials, Andrew's laughing the entire time. He does not stop, ever. All right, it is now time for the city space. Yes. And today we're going to talk about early voting starts tomorrow uh -huh. um, in Wichita County. And Wichita Falls City District's last, I don't know, beginning, beginning of the year, somewhere around there, in 2022 actually, were redrawn. They okay. weren't completely redrawn. It's not like they just erased it and started over. They had to move some boundaries here and there. District 5 was the most affected district. Some people go to District 2, some people go to District 1. Hmm. But if you're in District 5 and you're not sure, there are ways to check how you can do it. And it's actually US Constitution requires it. And we had to kick in after the 2020 census. It took them two years because there's a lot of work to be done with it. You have to hire consultants. It, it is just, you have to do it legally. I mean, it's, it yeah. is a big deal. And City Council approved it after it was done. So. District 5 defected the most, District 2 
District 4 and District 1 all have some additions or subtractions. Interesting. Easiest way to find it mm -hmm. is to go to the city's website and click on district clerk in the departments and then you can find that map. There's also a link on that to what's called the GIS, <laughs> which is a system where you can go put your address in the little search bar and it'll take you to where you're at and it'll show you what district you're in. And if That's you click cool. on the right stuff, it'll, it has county information, it has school district. I mean, there's all kinds of information on that. So that's really cool, but it's interactive. Some people don't like the interactive there. Just look at a map, find your address, find where your house is and you'll know what district you're in. Yeah. So the big thing about this is if you don't know, what, what we're really worried about, at least at the city, letters have been sent out, all kind of information, they reached out to everybody. But if you get to the voting, you're in the voting booth, right? You're standing right. there voting and you realize you're voting for district two, not district five when you thought you were in district five, stop, just stop. Don't hit cast ballot. Just stop and ask one of the election officials to come over, uh -huh. tell them what your concern is, and they can double check and make sure that you're, that you're voting for the right district. Right. So if you got moved into district two from district five, but you didn't realize it, and your, your address says you're in district two now, they'll explain it to you and you can vote from there. But sure. once you hit cast ballot, you're done. So sure. don't hit cast ballot if you have a question. And that's for anything. If you ever have a question about something on the ballot that you're not sure you should be voting for if it's right on your ballot, right. just stop. Yep. Stop and say, I need help. Raise your hand and say, I need some help. And they'll be there in two seconds and they'll help you. But once you hit that cast ballot button, there's nothing you can do about it. Your, your, your ballot's been cast and that's it. Yeah. So be mindful of that as we go through. And again, the easiest way, wichitafallstx.gov, go to that website and just, you can, in the search bar, you can search district map. Yep. and it'll bring one up for you. So if you have any questions, most of them are along boundaries. So if you know you live close to a boundary of a district, uh -huh. you might want to check that out and make sure you're voting for the right one. Interesting. But you know, we had League of Women Voters on last week and talked a lot mm -hmm. just about the how important it is to vote and, right. and make that difference. There's been a lot of debates and stuff that have been going on, conversations with counselors. The chamber did one. I know uh, both TV stations have done one. So. Hopefully everybody's informed. Do you yeah. feel like you're I'm gonna informed? have to go check my district. <laughs> oh gosh, sorry. <laughs> I moved back to town two years ago, so I'm like, wait a minute, what district am I in? Make sure. <laughs> yes, absolutely. Well, you may not be voting for anybody. You'll have to vote for mayor. I think it's- Whole think city it's, votes for mayor, yeah. but your district always, may not be up for re-election. It correct. just depends. It's what? I think it's always an exciting time when the mayor's up and, mm -hmm. and people get out it and is. vote. And Especially when we know we're gonna get a new mayor out of this yeah. with Mayor Santiana going, right. you mm -hmm. know, terming out and not doing it. Right. Anymore. Yeah. We're going to miss him. Yes, we There's are. There's a special coming up, uh, by the way, that we're producing in the Public Information Office. Oh, very cool. Um, looking back on his, on, on his, in his words, because we interviewed him, he does most of the talking. I'm just kind of sitting there going, mm, okay. Yeah. Mm. But, um, <laughs> He, you know, he talks about downtown, he talks about economic development, he talks about all some of the fun things he's been through. We have yep. a really funny thing he went through. Um, he actually flew in a T-38 at one point. Mm -hmm. We have some pretty good pictures of like right after he got off the plane and yeah. he's, he wasn't real stable, <laughs> um, but he admits it yeah. and he has new respect. He said he got a new respect for the way those people fly, but that'll be really kind of fun. It's, and it's lengthy, That's, it's gonna be like 20 minutes or so of him really looking back because cool. he started as a counselor, District 1 City Councilor in 2015, uh -huh. and then November of 2016 he ran for mayor and won, yeah. and then elected two more times. So he'd been on council for like eight years. He's been serving the city, That's not great. as mayor, only part of it, you know, first year and a half was city councilor, but then he went to mayor. So I think we're going to have him on social space before he's done or yeah. right after right after the election. So that's going to be a lot of fun. That'll be great. It, it's great to, he's such a good sport about so many things, and mm -hmm. it's, it's really fun to hear his moments of good and bad and f stuff he thought was funny yeah and stuff that you know you're kind of like okay but it's he's he's a good dude i, I really really I, we're gonna miss him Absolutely. in city hall as mayor and we'll see we'll, we'll see what we get next i mean yep. we'll we'll be ready to go yep. whoever you guys elect is who will support and, and be ready to see how they want to govern the city absolutely it's gonna yeah. be great but please go vote that that's yes. the plea we make to everybody go vote my dad used to say you can't complain if you don't vote it's true so if you don't like Agreed. the way it's going and you didn't vote sorry about you yep. vote in the next one run for office how about that yeah get in there and make a difference there you go all right that's my preaching soapbox for the day did you have fun yeah it's great good you're gonna come back this won't be like your last time ever right just depends on Jackie. Ah! <laughs> <Jackie's there. laughs> well, if you're asked, you're not going to say. If uh -uh, I am asked, I, am not I going will on the rejoin y'all. Good. 
We'll be happy to have you. It was very fun. Thank you for doing it. Thank Thanks. you very much. Uh -huh. Thanks, Andrew, as always. Of thank you. And thank you. And we will see you next Sunday night right here again. All right? Yay! Yeah. We're clapping. <laughs>